Hi, welcome back to Learn Me Some English podcast. Today is daily news article number 24. My name is Jean Meesum, and you're very welcome back to today's article. You can find me at www.learnmesomeenglish.com. You can find these articles at engoo.com. Today's article is Study Finds Ages When People Are Happiest. Again, today I'm going to give you the word, its meaning, and I'm going to give you an example sentence. I would like you with the vocabulary to try to stop and make your own sentence when possible. And then I will continue with the article and some comprehension questions. Okay, let's begin. The first vocabulary word is satisfy. That's a verb. To meet or fulfill a need, desire, demand, etc. I'm not completely satisfied with my exam results. Two, psychology, noun. The study of the mind and how it affects behavior. I want to study psychology because I've always been interested in people's feelings and emotions. Three, emotion. Something that one feels, such as love, fear, anger, etc. I feel a rush of emotions as I look through the photo album. Four, physical, relating to the body. A poor diet and lack of physical exercise increase your risk of developing diabetes. Five, puberty, noun. The stage of physical development when a child changes into an adult. Going through puberty was tough for me because I had a lot of acne. And six, interaction. The act of communicating or being involved with someone or something. I have very little interaction with people outside my team. Okay, now let's begin with the article. Study finds ages when people are happiest. Do you ever think you were happiest as a child? A new study has found this may be true. But while you may be less cheerful as you get older, you may also be more satisfied with life. Researchers in Germany and Switzerland looked at data from previous studies with a total of over 460,000 participants. They were interested in how satisfied people said they were with their lives and also in something called positive effect and negative effect. Positive effect is a term used in psychology to talk about how people feel cheerful and happy emotions, while negative effect is used for feelings like anger, fear, and sadness. It was found, while people tended to be most cheerful as children, they became more satisfied with their lives as they got older, until they got very old, at which point they became less satisfied and less happy too. From the data, the researchers found that life satisfaction decreased from age 9 to 16, then increased a little until age 70, and decreased again until age 96 the oldest age for which data was available. But positive effect or cheerfulness decreased almost continuously from age 9 to age 94. Negative effect went up and down between ages 9 and 22, but then decreased until age 60. After that, increased again until age 87. The researchers noted that changes in life satisfaction tended to be smaller than changes in positive and negative effect. The decrease in life satisfaction between ages 9 and 16 were probably due to the physical and social changes of puberty, the researchers said. Meanwhile, the decrease in satisfaction and increase in negative effect among the very old were likely connected to the health problems of old age, as well as decreasing social interaction. The study authors wrote that their results show that programs to help people feel happier later in life could be useful. Hope you enjoyed the article. Now we'll go to the comprehension questions. One, what are your thoughts on the findings of the study? Two, do you think you are happiest as a child? And three, do you find it surprising that life satisfaction decreases from age nine to 16? I hope you enjoyed today's article. Again, my name is Jean Meesom. You can find me at www.learnmeasom for mother english.com and again these articles were all courtesy of engu engoo.com where you can find many different articles including all the vocabulary and comprehension questions i hope to see you again next time thanks a lot and bye